Good morning, this is Tim Johnson, and here's a look at what's going on around us on Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. The state of Vermont reported just one new positive test for COVID-19 on Tuesday, with the lone case in Orange County. New Hampshire reported one death and 16 new COVID cases, including four in Cheshire County. Massachusetts reported six deaths, 269 new COVID cases, including one in Franklin County. A Brattleboro man is facing charges for a Tuesday evening incident. Police responded to a Putney Road housing complex for a reported disturbance involving a firearm. 60-year-old Harley Blake III was charged for allegedly brandishing a firearm and pointed it at a man and his dog. Blake was located in a wooded area and taken into custody. He was held overnight and arraignment is scheduled today. Omega Optical Holdings LLC of Brattleboro has completed the acquisition of Spectral Systems LLC. Financial terms were not disclosed. Spectral will continue operating its existing facilities in Jaffer, New Hampshire, as well as Danbury, Connecticut, and Hopewell Junction, New York. Spectral strengthens and expands Omega's existing thin film optical capabilities into a range of infrared applications and helps serve the high growth markets, which include life science, aerospace, defense, and industrial technology. Vermont's Department of Health Access now has more than $25 million in new federal money available to help residents who buy health insurance through the state exchange. Vermont Health Connect staff will hold a series of town halls via Microsoft Teams. The first will address helping current members understand the ways they can use the new financial help. The Vermont Department of Labor wants you to be aware of attempts to steal your personal information to commit unemployment insurance fraud. The department has received reports of fraudulent text messages asking individuals to review their claim or verify their account. The department says they do not work that way. Don't fall for it. The Vermont Financial Regulation Commissioner Michael Pichak says the State Department of Banking, Insurance, and Captive Insurance have each received another five-year accreditation from their national regulatory associations. Lotteries last night, Tri-State Pick 3, 250, the Pick 4, 7281, Mass Daily, 3405, the Mega Millions, 18, 47, 63, 68, 69, Mega Ball 14, Mega Play 3. In sports, the Boston Red Sox fell 5-3 to the Angels and the New York Yankees defeated Seattle 12-1. You're up to date for this Wednesday. Have a great day.